In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the search function in iOverlander 2. The search function is available for subscribers, so if you are unlimited or a pro subscriber, um, you can use the search function. I'm going to launch the app, and then you will see in the top right hand corner there's a magnifying glass, and if you tap on that, you can search for whatever you want. Um, it searches for a 50 uh, a radius of 50 miles from your current location or from a pin that you have currently selected. Um, so in this particular case, I am going to search for, let's say, solar and see what uh, it brings up. So it searches uh, geocoded geo results, which is from the entire um, coded database, which is not necessarily a pin on iOverlander, but there are pins that you can go to where it says places these are places that have solar so what we can say or i'm searching for solar so they have solar what you can do is i'm going to click on this and you'll notice that it takes me to the pin and if i click on the place details and i read through it you will see that it also has solar in the place description so not only does it search for place names or locations or anything like that it will also search the descriptions of places um, so if somebody no mentions this is a, there's a vegan restaurant or they fix bicycles or something like that. So let's just uh, for giggles and grins say vegan and see what comes up. There's no places in that particular area that has vegan in a description or a vegan in a name. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out here quickly and I'm going to go to a completely different location. And I'm just going to go in here and tap on a place. And then I'm going to just search for solar again, just because that is um, not necessarily something I'm looking for right now, but it is just uh, a search term that I'm thinking of. So if I click on any one of these uh, places at the bottom, it'll take me in there. And if I read the description, it says there's no power, but there are solar lights. So again, it searched the uh, the place description. If I'm looking for a specific uh, place itself, um, let's say I'm looking for Birch Bay, and I select that, it'll find Birch Bay in, whoop, sorry, just selected the wrong thing there. Let's say Birch Bay, and we say Washington, and it'll search for the location itself. Now it might not pull up any of the places because that is not the area that I'm currently selected in or highlighted on the map. And if I tap on that, it'll take me to Birch Bay, the location, and then you can see all the pins in that area. So this is a very quick way that you can search and plan for uh, your trips, your destinations, um, just by zooming out and um, finding a specific area that you wanna go to and then searching uh, for a specific term in that area. Uh, let's just say, if I say camping, whoa, that's not how I spell camping, that's camping, no, 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 no. Bear with me. If I search that, now you can see that it's actually uh, searched for campgrounds in that area as well. Um, and if I zoom out a little bit, you can see that Birch Bay is just across the way, like right there. So that's searching, um, available for subscription on the pro and unlimited subscriptions on iOverlander 2. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.